So what exactly is a herniated disc? First, let's take a look at your spine. Your spine contains vertebrae, which are small bones. Between each vertebra is a small disc or cushion. This disc, which acts as a shock absorber in your spine, consists of a jelly-like core and an outer layer called the annulus. Herniated disc pain can range from mild to shock-like pain that radiates down the leg. Although most herniated discs begin to gradually improve within a few weeks, many daily activities can aggravate the pain and make it worse. Here are 7 things to avoid and some to do to reduce pain. Number 7. Sitting too much. Sitting puts more pressure on the discs, especially if you lean forward. To reduce pain from a herniated disc in the lumbar spine, lower back, try to stand up, walk or lie down if possible. Since sitting for long periods of time is often unavoidable, try these tips to decrease the strain on your lumbar spine. Sit up straight with your shoulders back in the chair and your shoulder blades down. Keep your thighs level with the floor, hips should not be below your knees. Use a small pillow or rolled towel to support your lower back. Set reminders on your phone to take frequent breaks and go for short walks. If your job involves sitting at a desk or computer for long periods of time, consider using a sit-stand desk that allows you to stand periodically throughout the day. Number 6. Doing laundry. Between bending over to pick up clothes, carrying heavy baskets, and reaching for things, laundry can put a strain on your lower back. If it is possible, ask a friend or family member to help you with this activity until your back feels better. Many dry cleaners also offer regular laundry services. Number 5. Vacuuming. Repetitive lunge movements commonly used to vacuum floors can irritate a herniated disc. Instead of stretching your arms and arching your back, keep your back straight and walk with a vacuum cleaner on the floor. Think of your feet, not your hands, doing the work. Another option is to buy a robotic vacuum cleaner to do the work for you. With this device, you can set it and forget it. Number 4. Feeding a pet. It may seem like an easy task, but bending over to fill your pet's bowl with food and water can be enough to trigger a painful flare-up. If you can't delegate this duty to someone else, invest in a dedicated pet bowl with an extension tube or built-in reach. If you have to bend over, keep one leg straight like golfers do when picking up a golf ball, this takes the pressure off your lower back while keeping you straight. Number 3. Strenuous Exercise while exercise is still recommended, avoid vigorous activity or other activities that put too much stress on the discs. Avoid activities that repeatedly stress the lower back, such as running or jumping rope. Skip exercises that involve significant axial load on the lower back, like squats and leg presses. Avoid toe touches, sit-ups, and yoga poses that aggravate the pain and lead to significant back bending. Instead, try an aerobic exercise like swimming and walking. Using a stationary bike is an excellent form of exercise while recovering from a herniated disc. Hiking, especially uphill, is also nice. Aerobic exercise increases the supply of blood, nutrients, and oxygen to the soft tissues of the back, which promotes healing and reduces pain. You can also try strength exercises approved by your doctor or physical therapist. Number 2. Shoveling snow or gardening. Snow shoveling and gardening can make disc pain worse because it often involves lifting, bending forward, and twisting, which can easily aggravate disc pain. When it snows, use a snowblower if possible or ask a neighbor for help. Try to avoid repetitive bending and bending when gardening. Instead, hold the position and change it. If it hurts, garden has to wait another week. Giving yourself time to heal will make you more independent in the long run. Number 1. Smoking Cigarettes. Smoking is known to affect the health of the lungs, but did you know that smoking can also affect the health of the spine? Research indicates that smoking is associated with a higher incidence of back pain. If you liked the video, give a thumbs up button, and never forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. A herniated disc can occur due to wear and tear, but it's important to know that you can reduce your risk by following these tips.
Number 4. Exercise regularly. Exercise is a great way to prevent back pain, especially caused by a herniated disc. By strengthening the core muscles, the back receives more support. As a result, strong core stability reduces the risk of disc herniation. Tip. Some exercises, such as swimming, cycling, or walking, can help you lose weight without straining your back. Maintaining a healthy weight is vital for a healthy spine. Number 3. Practice safe lifting. Always practice safe lifting techniques, whether you're lifting a bag of groceries or a heavy box. Lifting incorrectly, such as lifting while twisting, can put undue stress on your spine. Security enhancement methods include. Avoid bending while lifting. Squat down and use your legs to push yourself up. Use friends as much as possible. Avoid removing objects from your body, keep objects close to you if possible. Consider using a dolly to prevent back strain for irregularly shaped or heavy items. Number 2. Use good posture. Poor posture, whether sitting or standing, can cause lower back pain. Use these tips to improve your posture and keep your spine healthy and happy. While standing, keep your shoulders over your hips. Keep your chin parallel to the ground. Avoid slouching, especially while sitting at the computer. Sit on the floor with your feet flat on the floor and knees bent at a 90 degree angle. If you work from home, you may want to make some changes to your home workstation. Use a chair with lumbar support and position the computer screen so that it is directly in front of you at eye level. Turning to look at the screen can aggravate back pain. Number 1. Rethink your sleeping position. In the previous section, we only looked at posture, but good posture applies even when you're lying down. Sleeping on your stomach puts too much pressure on the spine, especially the cervical spine. If you want to know more about sleep positions, there are several videos on our channel you can check out, too. To improve your posture while you sleep, remember these tips. Lying on the back or side. Place a pillow under the knees, back sleepers, or between the legs, side sleepers, to keep the spine in a neutral position. Use a firm mattress. Replace old or worn mattresses. Healthy sleeping habits are good for more than just your back. They are good for all your joints, especially your shoulders, and hips. Don't hesitate to leave a comment and share your ideas with us. Thank you, guys, for watching.